Hello booktube, it's Katie Coulson, back at it again with another moving a vlog episode, and this is episode number five in the daily vlog series. So this is where we build the final bookshelves. I know, we've all been waiting to see it, I've been waiting to show you, it's stunning, they're amazing, it's making me never want to move out, like they're so beautiful. Like I'm sorry for over overhyping it, but like it's stunning. Okay, so we build the final shelves and not only than that, I also start reading boyfriend material and I start reading Red Rising, which I know that Red Rising is a book that a lot of people wanted me to read. So I start reading those in this video. And also I make one of my biggest adult purchases, like, ooh, a chunk of change. Like when you're an adult, you have to buy like real shit and it's like annoying. Anyway, you're gonna see all of that in this video and let's just jump right in. Hello, it is day, I don't remember. Um, I'm making coffee and my parents and I are gonna try to set up my internet and get that going because I do need to ship off some things to eBay. So I need the internet for the printer to work. You know what I'm saying? But yesterday we did get my desk set up. So my mom and I built this Ikea six drawer, which is awesome because I'm gonna put like my journaling stuff probably in this one and stationary and then my diabetic like supplies in that one. It's gonna be very aesthetic. That is not gonna go there. Can you imagine if my computer uh, monitor was that big? No, um, that's gonna go over on what my mom likes to call the credenza. All right, is that what you call it? Yes. The, the credenza, um, which is like a entertainment center for low level people. And that's my dad. Um, and then I'm going to put my computer there and look how sexy that looks. That's the, that's the modem. Hopefully my internet will be fast here. We'll see. But we're going to go to Home Depot and return these boards and see if they have some different boards that can go on these shelves here. Um, and hope for the best on that. If not, I can just order them online. And then there was a rug that I looked at that I was thinking about getting online. And then we were life hack, Ikea hacking my old desk that used to go on that old Alex six drawer that only went up to about, about, about there. And this was my deconstructed Ikea coffee table. And my dad was like, you know what? I bet we could pop these off. And my mom was like, you could turn this into a coffee table because I need one that's big enough to do a puzzle on. So that's pretty freaking exciting. Pretty pumped about it. So I guess you're gonna see how it turns out. Oh my God. After half an hour, I finally got my friend to print. God bless. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, now let's, this is what I, this is where my vantage point would be. Perfect. Perfect. I could definitely do a puzzle on this. I love it. Thanks. Hello. My dad and I picked out a washer and dryer. Mom was here too, you know. <laughs> Mom's got all the, the fasteners. And then some, my dad called it lubricant. I'm gonna call it WD-40 because, you know, for the weirdos out there. Penetrating oil. Penetrating oil is what it is. <laughs> for my rusty drawers. So we just bought a washer and dryer, or I did. And I'm so excited because my dad kept being like, we'll get the white ones. Um, everybody has white and they're gonna be cheaper and get a really small um, washer and dryer. And I was like, okay, but I have a duvet. So I don't know. And then it turned out to be that after a little while of us being like, okay, well, I don't know. I don't know. Is he walked over to this corner and he was like, what about this? And it was like, a little bit more expensive but like not that much like maybe like a hundred dollars a piece more expensive and they were a pretty decent size and they were like a black stainless steel 
Oh my God, gorgeous, stunning, dear Lord. They can't be delivered until December 3rd and like it's November 8th, so, ooh. You know, but hopefully Grace will let me use her washer and dryer. That would be amazing, but that's super cool. And then we also went and returned <sighs> all the wood for the shelves, which was insanely heavy. And apparently they had overcharged us at the first time when we bought wood. So I got like, a thousand I think I got like eleven $1 hundred dollars back from that which I remember I told you that I didn't want to talk about how expensive it was but bitch the fuck no are you kidding me like absolutely not I was like dad this is so expensive like I can't do this and we ended up returning that so that chunk of change paid for almost like the entirety of the washer and dryer so that's cool and then right now we're at a chick-fil-a drive-thru because all i've had is pumpkin bread and my blood sugar is going absolutely insane because all i've been doing is eating pumpkin bread because it's pre-made and those like gummies like these things for when my blood sugar gets an unex like super low when i'm lifting all this shit and my blood sugar is just going off the rails it's just boom 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 boom, boom and that's not good and they were like oh well i have some snacks like Cheez it's i was like no i'm going to chick-fil-a and y'all can follow me. If you don't want to follow me, that's fine. But I'm going to Chick-fil-A because, listen, um, not only do I have diabetes, but I'm a human being. And I need some food. Like, I need some sustenance. I need some greens. I need some meat. We need to get a chicken salad or something. Like, I can't do this. So, we're going to Chick-fil-A. And then we're going to drive to Noonan, which is like an hour and some on bit away. And, in hopes that they have the melamine white shelves that we need. And then my dad has a saw so he can saw them down and hopefully... We can get started working on the bookshelf today. That would be so fucking exciting. Anyway, he's about to come up and ask me what I want. So, bye. got the boards and they're not the right size I think that six of them are the right size and that the other six my dad is going to like he has a circular saw apparently I was like I can't believe you thought to bring that all the way to Atlanta from Florida what <laughs> also where is it How, where are you hiding it not bad a circular saw okay bet dad um so he's gonna cut them down and then I bought some really high gloss white paint to paint the like ends of them because it's just particle board or whatever they are I have no idea but I'm gonna do that and then I also bought the sexiest ladder of all time like I don't know if you can really see it back there but I was like why are step ladders and trash cans so expensive it doesn't make any sense but step ladders are like the cheapest you can buy them for is like 50 bucks and I was like if I'm gonna pay $60 for a step ladder it's gonna be sexy and good god is that step ladder sexy I was like is this like the hottest thing I own like I think so it's like matte black it's just it's beautiful anyway uh, why am I talking about that I don't know uh, bought that love it uh, looked for a trash can still can't find one that I like because my kitchen's really tiny I don't know where to put the trash can whatever um, but those shelves I got so the ones I was talking about before we went and returned them and I got like a thousand dollars back and then when I bought these they were like with tax like two hundred and twenty dollars and I was like that's like a fraction of the price and they're gonna be the right width so god bless or the right depth they need to be sawed but so do the other ones but it's a fraction of the price love to fucking see it so that's amazing 
but I do also have an update on I have been reading boyfriend material and I have been reading it quite a bit it is very easy to read but I'm just not caring like and I don't think the romance is good I don't understand why Oliver is supposed to be sexy or Alex like neither of them are sexy they're not enough it's like part of me is like okay so Alex isn't enough of a bad boy persona to be hot and then Oliver isn't he's too uptight in his role to be hot too so it's just like it's not enough it's not enough and then I went on Goodreads to see because I swear people have told me this book is really good and all of my friends have rated it two or three stars and I was like okay no I'm just gonna DNF it if I'm not vibing with it and I'm at 35% of the way in and I don't care about the romance I don't see that changing and the book is pretty long so or it's long for romance so I'm gonna DNF it and I'm actually going to pick up Red Rising and hope for the best. Um, I think I will enjoy this series. I need to listen to it a little bit slower and really pay attention because since I am going like a thousand miles an hour right now, I don't want to miss anything or, you know, God forbid, not like it because I'm, you know, all in my head. So I'm going to start that and see how that goes. There is a flower that grows on Mars. It is red and harsh and fit for our soil. It is called Hemanthus. It means... Blood Blossom. Chapter 1. Helldiver. The first thing you should know about me is I am my father's son, and when they came for him, I did as he asked. I did not cry. Not when the society televised the arrest. Not when the golds tried him. Not when the greys hanged him. Mother hit me for that. My brother, Kieran, was supposed to be the stoic one. He was the elder, I the younger. I was supposed to cry. Instead, Kieran bawled like a girl when little Eo took the Hemanthus into father's left work boot and ran back to her own father's side. My sister, Liana, murmured a lament beside me. I just watched, and thought it a shame that he died dancing, but without his dancing shoes. On Mars, there is not much gravity, so you have to pull the feet to break the neck. They let the loved ones do it. Oh my god, it looks stunning. It looks stunning. It looks stunning. <laughs> this looks amazing. Like, it's so much room. Like, that's a whole-ass library. Yes, it is. That, that is, is a whole ass filming location, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hello. <laughs> Who is she? Oh my god. Booktube sensation. Hello. Thumbs up, Dad. Yes, it works very nice. Very sturdy, too. Very strange. He's putting the first book on. Okay, this is the first book. We chose wisely out of the like 20 that I have over here so far. And because my dad made me the tiny bunny of Vicious. Um, Vicious is going to be the first one because it's a five-star book and it's stunning. How about we just give it a whole moment? <gasps> oh my god, it's beautiful! Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at it. Look at how perfect, okay, you're not wasting any space, okay? Usually a shelf, like I can make the shelf right here if I felt like it. If I wanted to, I could do it. And I could fit like two more freaking shelves on here. The, the library is just beginning. You just wait, you have no freaking idea. Um, that video will probably be separate. This is building the bookshelf, but then organizing the bookshelf since it'll take me like three straight weeks to not organize and reorganize and reorganize. We'll be coming in a different video, but thank you so much, dad, yes. for building this. The contract architect mathematician of these shelves and the fact that we took back the wood and got these because I think that I didn't know that the wood was going to, that this was going to look good. I thought the wood would look better, but the white looks Grace was like, well, don't you think there's a reason why everyone has white? And I was like, oh, because they're basic. She was like, no, because it looks good. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Stunning. Okay, friends, that is going to wrap it up for day number five. And this was so exciting because I finally got the bookshelves built and they're so beautiful. I can't wait to start decorating them. You're going to see that entire process. I'm definitely going to show you all of that. So stay tuned for that. A video is going to be coming out very, very shortly. The day after tomorrow, you'll be able to see more of that content. I bought a washer and dryer. Like, oh my God. Like, I know it's annoying that they're not going to show up until December, but thankfully I have a best friend that lives very close to me that I can use her washer and dryer. So, whoo, 
Ooh, blessed. So that's amazing. Now in my next video, it will be the last day that my parents are gonna be in Atlanta and that's very emotional, very sad. Like I'm very sad to see them go. Hopefully, um, well, luckily I will be seeing them again at Christmas, the day after Christmas. So that will be very amazing. But that is what you're gonna see in the next video. And I am very excited to show it to you. If you want to leave an emoji for this video, you could leave, there isn't a bookshelf emoji, which is honestly tragic. Like that's honestly tragic. Why is there not? Is there like a hamper? There has to be a hamper. There has to be a hamper. There should be laundry. There has to be like soap, something laundry related. Leave a laundry related emoji down below. If you've gotten this far into the video, that would be amazing. I will be hitting you up the day after tomorrow with another video. And it is pretty soon to the wrap up of this series. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned to see my shelves. I'm so happy if any of you have stayed tuned to this many of vlogs in the series. That's very awesome. And I'm so happy that you guys are interested in this. So I will be seeing you very, very soon with another video. Have an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, or whatever it is you're having. Bye.